I know the hair is it's growing back, it's doing its thing. What do I want to talk to you guys about today? That's the very nature of this new podcast. No, no microphone, a microphone is right there. I've seen so many freaking people with a microphone and recording themselves. I'm just like, what do I do? Johnny Nomad presents. Am I coming back? Is this a bad thing? I think I'm, like, I'm just going to start doing podcasts whenever I'm feeling something to say. I think I'm going to give up goals. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm just going to do things that I like to do. And then work on the execution and becoming better skilled at it. You ever just thought about that? Like sometimes you're just chasing the fucking goal so much that you're not really making any headway. Right? You're not really taking into account all the little baby steps, the discipline, the patience, and just the constant work, work, hammer at it. To make it successful. So I'm kind of like, you know, stripping down my, my vision board. Yeah, I want to get a car, a nice car, a nice house, whatever. Yeah, that's going to come once everything else kind of gets down deep and dirty. Doesn't mean I'm not going to stop thinking of things or putting things in the calendar and putting dates on it for completion. Because that helps me to complete stuff instead of starting and not finishing, right? But the whole five-year, ten-year thing, I'm like, no, I want to just worry about right now. I want to worry, I want to worry about today and today only, and then tomorrow I'll worry about tomorrow. Because these are the baby steps. These are the things that's going to build up to your five or ten years. If I want to go into martial arts again and choose a particular martial art, I don't want to half-ass it. I'm not going to join just to join and, and that's it. I want to make sure I find the right home because I, I want to fucking just plug away and make this my lifestyle of mine. And I don't care about the belts. I don't care about that. I care about learning something new every time I go. And every week I'm progressing and getting better. That's like me and my poetry, my, my writing. Published this book this year in January. I'm writing my second book right now, almost done with it. Ready, showed you guys the, the new uh, cover for it. And I have a date of publishing already. That was my project. I just want to work on things and projects and execute them. At the same time, build up my skill, my skill of writing. I'm going to look for a, a writer's workshop and join that. And see who I can network with and what can I get out of it and learn and push myself even more. I think that's where we're going wrong with things a lot of times is that we're going after this, this vision but we don't know the steps that it takes to really get the holistic view. To really sit down and be able to enjoy the vista that's bestowed upon us. And I've come to this revelation by cleaning my fucking bathroom. Believe that shit? Just finished cleaning up the bathroom and shit like that and clean up the house. Well, the wife and the kids are gone. I'm like, you know what? I'm just cleaning this fucking bathroom. Fucking disgusting. I'm, I'm doing all, And then I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm like... It's time to just stop fucking around and become better skilled and become more of an authority of what you're doing. Most people who finish college still don't know what the fuck they want to be even after college. They went, they have a degree, they figure they can try to get something with it. Some folks are more on purpose. They went to college for a particular thing because they know exactly that's what I want to do. And then they go after that thing. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to post some content, tell you about the journey that I'm going through, and that's it. 
this can go into many different things, right? Of true goal setting, or when you know if you're a corporation and ask you what's your five, ten year plan, and where do you see yourself, and what happens if you don't see yourself? What happens if you're not there yet? What happens if you're working up to that? I want to be able to make a living off my writing. Is poetry going to do it? Don't know. Could It could. Maybe. I'm not going to say no. I don't know. But I only have one book. Well, I have two books. i got to rewrite the other one, matter of fact. And the third one's coming out. And I already have plans for the fourth one, which is a book I've been working on for 12 fucking years. So with all that being said, what is the true goal? Is it finishing the book? Is it trying to get it monetized? Is it living a better lifestyle? And if that's the case, am I not supposed to work on all those things at one time? Or one thing at a time? And I think it's a little bit of everything. I do believe that you have to work on multiple things at a time. But I also believe you got to focus on some shit to become better at it. Let's become that subject matter expert. Become that authority, like I said earlier. But what does that actually mean? Again. And what it means for me, what I'm taking this away from, for me, and, and you guys can disagree with me and say, hey, Johnny, you're, you're a moron. You need goals. Do you really, unless you really know the path you want to go? You know, what is the true definition of a goal? You know, when I got you guys here right now, I might as well look that fuck up. Goal. <laughs> it comes up with sports is number one. But the second definition, the object of a person's ambition or effort, an aim or desired result. And there's a sentence, for example, going to law school has become the most important goal in his life. And that's fine. Like I said earlier, that person knew exactly what the fuck they want to do. What about the many of us who don't know what the fuck we want to do? I think that's where you have to touch a little bit of everything to figure that out. Right? I, I don't I don't particularly know what you want to do. Like I said, no, I want to write. I'm, I'm, I'm publishing shit. I got shit done. I, I put myself to a date, to a task. And, I, and, and yes, this was a goal of mine. But this was a tiny piece of the goal. This was just the the step of the goal. And we don't talk about these steps enough. You know, I've read so many fucking self-help books. Oh, my God. And some were great, and some were just repetitive. Well, the last book that I may have read, some said generic shit. Some were very, like, defining and and moving. Um, but <laughs> the more you realize, the more you're reading these self-help books, the more you're procrastinating and taking action. A lot of people read all these fucking books and don't do shit. I, I read these books and this came out of it. The first book in 2018 came out of it. This book that I'm writing now is about to be published in January 2023. is, co is coming out of those, those learnings, those teachings, right? So what do we do? Should I put a graphic up here right now? Maybe I'll put a graphic up of your steps you need to take. 
Because at this point right now, the biggest thing I see people are, are impatient. They're not patient. Like, man, this book right here, it didn't start off until an idea when I was in Florida in 2021. Just an idea, and I started writing out kind of like the, the framework of what the book was going to be about. And it's about my life. It's a bunch of poetry about my life growing up in Brooklyn in the hood. Even has my abstract drawings in here that I added to that. Right. So I was, well, as I was getting that together and putting that together, then I had to write the poetry. And I was like, man, how many poems am I going to write? Like, do I have it in me? And when I did one that did five, I was like, man, okay, well, okay, cool, I wrote five, but do I still have enough? And then the self-doubt started kicking in. That motherfucker self-doubt is a motherfucker, boy. That motherfucker knows when to come in at the right fucking time. Because doubt wants to, that self-doubt wants to stop you. Because it starts putting thoughts in your head that you're a fraud. You're not a writer. You ain't fucking Stephen King. Like, this is what your mind starts telling you. Let alone you start talking to people who don't get what the fuck you're doing anyway. Right? And you're just telling the wrong person or people. They're going to tell you, yeah, that's cute, that's good, that's awesome for you. But they can't give you true feedback. They can't like, help you keep yourself accountable, they don't know what it is to be a writer or whatever you want to be, right? But that motherfucking self-doubt. What did I do? I kept on writing. Every day. Three, four times a day. I just kept on writing. And even my new book, I just kept on writing. Even to this now, like, I would have thought this, and I did it, and it wasn't even a goal of mine. But now I have a, I have a website, johnnynomad.com. It's a blog. And it's more for me just to have practice in writing. I'm kind of up to my own topics I want to talk about. And, and they're not that long. They're maybe like 500 words. The longest I think was 800 words. It only takes maybe a couple minutes to read. But these are just things and ideas for me and also just challenging me to write about different things in different ways and using words in, in, a, in a different array and display than I'm usually used to. So I got a simple freaking website up, giantnomad.com. That was not even on the books this year. That wasn't on my goal list. It just happened. When you're doing something, something else may happen. Like, it's like a tree branch, right? Like, you're on that main road, but then sometimes it says, yo, come over here. Let me show you something. Let's, let's go over here real quick. And that's what the website was. It's not a flashy website. It's a basic fucking simple website. I got my book on there, so if you want to go cop it, it's on there. I have a little um, trailer of for the second book coming up. Um, I have recommendations of self-help books up there. Like, yo, like, I have it up. Giantnomad.com is there. So I'm completing things and doing things because I'm taking these fucking steps. And I'm making shit happen. The payoff is going to come off. The monetization of it, I can't worry about that. I have to build an audience like anything else. That's that's the kicker right there. You got to build your fucking audience. And once you build your audience, that's when they'll buy shit from you. I think we start, we start thinking the reverse. We start thinking about the product first. Or trying to sell something to someone 
or to a, a, a batch of people who are not there yet, who don't even know you exist yet. Especially if you don't have marketing dollars. If you not have, if you don't have the money to market your product or whatever you have, then yeah, you're you're fucking you're dead in the water. You got to try to do this shit organically, and nowadays it's just tough as fuck, right? Still can be done, but it's tough as hell. Get rid of the doubt. Keep on keeping on. Keep on doing what the fuck you're doing every goddamn day. You have to. Why wouldn't you? Don't worry about the haters. Don't worry about the people who are confused what the fuck you're doing. Don't let the people not understand you, period. Get in your way. Just keep on writing. Keep on doing what you do. There already is a Stephen King. I don't want to be fucking Stephen King. I want to be Johnny Nomad. I want to be the best of me at my craft as possible. That's why I started a website. That's why it's a blog and I'm writing fucking three times a week. I'm putting fucking blog posts up. But this is the kicker. I'm writing every day. I'm just posting three blogs up, up a week. But every day I'm writing different topics. And so I have a schedule just to produce Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday articles that I'm writing about. This is something where... You're going to have to figure out for yourself what you want to do. Allow your path to bring you to places you wasn't expecting. Don't think so much about the overall big goal. Think about the next step it's going to take for you to get to where you want to go. I had the poems. My next step was to get it in a book form. My next step was to figure out how to create this fucking cover. The back cover. Why was I going to write on there? The steps of everything to, to make it whole. Worry about those things. And I did it before. So I know I can do it again. I believe in you too. So if you know anyone that's doubting and or keeps on telling you about their great idea stuff, share this with them. Let's see what could they become. We're probably missing out on the next big thing. If you decide to doubt yourself, if you decide to let everyone else get in the way, and if you decide to fucking stop today, to get up off your ass, let's make something happen. Peace.